And I came out this morning, let the chickens out, and I think I forgot to close the door because now we've got chickens all over the yard. Well, good morning. Welcome, Life in the Heim House. Glad to have you guys back for another day. We had some storms come through last night and uh, left everything nice and wet. But checking in on the garden, looks like we gotta get in there and do a little weeding. And looks like some of the stuff we planted did not take, which is very unfortunate. We'll have to go into our second and third rounds of stuff a little earlier than anticipated. I came out this morning, let the chickens out, and I think I forgot to close the door because now we've got chickens all over the yard. Most of them have gotten back into the coop. You wanna go back in? Come on, no, no. Uh, east, oh. Nope, she's not going in for me. But look at how big these guys have gotten. Those are the teenagers, those are the new chicks. They're not quite the full size yet, but they are getting big. And Rex just came out, which is gonna really mess up the process of getting the chickens back. But let's do that first. Because of the rain, we're going to put some fresh bedding down and uh, hopefully dry out some of the coops. We don't get sinks, but uh, we're going to put some fresh, fresh straw in there. So let's take care of that real quick. So that was an unexpected adventure this morning, getting everybody back into the coop. But all are back in, all are well. Now it's on to the rest of our chores today. And that is going to include some repotting. We are still trying to catch up on our potting. We have so many plants uh, that we need to just move up to larger pots. And the garage is an absolute mess in here. Wait for the camera to fix itself there it is hello welcome back but look at this mess we've got piles we've got pots we've got got a lot of work to do and we're getting closer and closer to graduation weekend asher's gonna be graduating over the memorial day weekend we got family coming in and we just have we have a lot of work to do so we're gonna try to get as much done today as we can i want to show you these though if you've been following along with us on the vlog Last week we started planting our cucumbers and our pickles. I said I would show you an update. Look at this. So here we go. We've got, these are all pickles. One, two, three, four rows. These are all cucumbers. One, two, three, four rows. And then these did not take, this was a new cucumber I was trying this year. They did not take, but then over here, I've got sunflowers. One, two, three, five of the six sunflowers are coming up. This tray, I don't know what happened to this tray. I think this is what happened. I noticed that it wasn't sealing properly and no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to seal. I think that affected the rest of these plants here because none of these took. But then down here, these guys all took and these are more sunflowers. 
and it looks like all of them are doing great. And then the last tray, if you remember, we did some cucumbers and some peppers, and it looks like the cucumbers are working, are coming up, but nothing else is. So I believe these are all salad slicing cucumbers, so they're going to be really, really nice. Uh, these were, oh, jack-o'-lanterns, they didn't take, oh wait, jack-o'-lanterns, so that's what this, these two, one, two, we got two jack-o'-lanterns that came up, that's kind of disappointing, and then over here, these were our little mini pumpkins, and they didn't come up, these are all pepper plants, sweet pepper, that is a, Another sweet banana pepper, and these are just a mix of peppers. None of them took, and I think that was because the seal was broken. And the same thing was true of the tray on top. The seals, the, the lids did not seal. But on this one, yeah, they did great. And I'm thinking these were just bad seeds, which I'm really disappointed when you, when you purchase seeds and they don't come up. Like, that's frustrating. What do you do? You lose the seeds, you lose the plant, and you lose the dollar and a half it was to go ahead and buy the seeds. So, big challenge today, get our tomatoes into the buckets. So moving those guys, those guys into here. They're really starting to struggle because they're just, we need to get them in there. And I got a ton of um, Brussels sprouts we need to repot, and then all of those cucumbers we're going to try to repot them. So Amy and I have our work cut out for us today, but that's what we're doing. And then we're going to also get this garage kind of clean up a little bit because it needs it. It needs it bad. So let's get to work. Okay. So I almost forgot to record all of this. I got started repotting things and forgot all about turning the camera on. So let me just quick show you what we've done. First step was to do the Brussels sprouts because they were really starting to look sad, but here are the new Brussels sprouts. I'm hoping it's not too late and we actually can salvage them because they probably should have been repotted maybe a week or two ago. And then I got my pickle bush. So pickle bush is the type of pickle this is. They look fantastic. I mean, they're only two weeks old, but they look great. So we got, we got those in there. I have these to finish and then all of these here. And like I said, all our tomato plants are starting to really look sad. So I want to try to get them in the ground or into pots. So I think, I think they'll do okay if I give them a pot. Some of them are looking really good. Like, I mean, this guy here, I think that'll take. There's two in there. One of the two should, should do well. If I get them in the, the pot now, they'll be okay. So let's get the rest of these guys here. Let's get these all planted so that we actually have pickles and cucumbers this year.